earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in for your weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, that information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. Um, for all those who are new to the channel, I am a clairvoyant psychic medium. There is plenty of proof out there. You can look into past live videos here or um, in Facebook. Also look into reviews to see the proof, the truth, and accuracy. Um, and yeah, so I don't, I don't use any cards or any tools when it comes to live readings or personal readings. So definitely check me out um, if you're new. Um, and just know that energy is fluid. So this could be past, this could be present, this could be future. All right, Earth signs, I'm going to go ahead and get started with Taurus. Hey, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, please show us a message for Taurus. 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 Um, so someone could be in a hummy, hum, hummy, <laughs> in the honeymoon stage, the honeymoon phase, like a beginning of a relationship, or just getting to talking. You like, you know, you know, it's everything is all, all uh, new, <laughs> um, or you're just rebuilding on your connection, and you, you know, it's starting to feel new again. You give me butterflies, or this is what's going to happen. Okay. Someone could be proposing to someone. I'm saying yes. All right, so someone will be saying yes. Oops, did I say too much? <laughs> um, but it looks like good due to a connection, a relationship. Now, that's one situation. Hopefully, that continues. But, oh, okay, this could be the Mercury re retrograde here. All right, something that someone could be returning into your life. You know, the past always want to return. want to metro, uh, metro. <laughs> the Mercury retrograde up here. Um, also, there's electronic issues, uh-huh, communication issues, uh-huh. So, some of you just, just make sure you review everything carefully at this time. I wouldn't make any major decisions, Taurus, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, but yes, okay. Not saying this will be, uh, you know, at all, but just take your time. Show us a message for Taurus. Taurus, depending on your situation, your connection. Show us a message for Taurus. Maybe, you know, you're thinking about somebody from the past. And you're like, hey, I ain't talking about this person in a long time. Yeah, that's the retrograde. The Mercury retrograde. Show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. All right, what is this? Pregnancy? Okay, someone is expecting. All right. Some of you could be expecting or someone is expecting by you. Or someone in your energy could be expecting. All right, but oh, yeah, yeah. someone have a gambling addiction. Someone have problems here, okay? I mean, who don't have problems as long as you're working on them, okay? That's all that matters. But this situation here is kind of like, yeah, not so good. Someone could have a, a issue with cheating, um, dealing with others because we have a someone else a third party situation here with the gambling okay gambling the connection okay um someone also could be bad with their money someone may gamble um financially as well someone could have a gambling addiction bad with finances um someone could have some type of problem um some type something that you're addicted to addicted to spending shopping um it could be some type of narcotics or alcohol or some type of substance abuse as well all right but um someone is in the middle or some someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this so hmm. yeah remember when i said hum honeymoon phase that's normally when it's someone that's trying to interfere because they see it looking you know all nice and beautiful oh i don't want to get in and mess that up yeah that's when the haters really come out or try to um, work their way through. So just keep that in mind if it hasn't happened yet. So let's jump into this message spirit. Show us a message for Taurus. So this could be an ex that's trying to return. It's 
say, hey, I'm pregnant. He's like, wait a minute, wait, I haven't dealt with you in how long? How? <laughs> how? How could this be? How is this so? Um, no, but uh, for some of you, this person could be returning. It could be months later, and then now they want to pop up into your life after you happily engaged or happily in a new connection. And now they're like six months pregnant. You're like, why you ain't tell me then? And or they ain't about to give birth. You like, you almost about to get the have the baby. It almost been a year. Why are you telling me now? So yeah, something like that could have happened or trying to happen. Someone is trying to get in a mix of someone's situation. All right, let's get into this message, spirit. Show us a message for Taurus. 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 All right, four swords in reverse. Someone is restless, cannot rest their mind throughout the situation. Okay, Taurus, this is you. Taurus, you're coming up as a hierophant. But some of you, you can't rest because of a marriage. Maybe you're getting cold feet. What's going on here? Yeah, don't let this third party interfere with something good because they want to come back lurking because you're doing happy. I mean, because you're happy, because you're doing good. <laughs> That's how it works, right? They want to come on in when you're happy without them. <laughs> Show us more. Mm. Yeah, oh, I'm pregnant. That's what they want to say. Oh, I'm pregnant. Someone could be dealing with another Taurus. Or this is um a situation that have already occurred, you guys. Um, well, Let's see more on this energy. Some of you Taurus, you could be pregnant. You could be pregnant and someone, oh snap, someone in the, mm, someone know that you're pregnant and they want to come in and jeopardize your, someone want to come in and interfere with your connection. So you say for instance, you're pregnant with, with your person and this third party want to come in and interfere however they want to interfere. Maybe pertain it to a child, child support, maybe the pregnancy already happened. The person already had a child, someone trying to interfere with the marriage or connection here. Show us more on this energy spirit. Oh my gosh. Show us more on this energy for Taurus. Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh. You feel trapped. You feel stuck. Maybe you feel trapped. Oh my God. Don't tell me this person trapped you with a pregnancy. Okay. Show us more. Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone is so regretful. Someone is regretting it. Someone is sad. Someone is feeling guilty due to their decisions. Dealing with this other party. Someone could have... Um, mm -hmm, someone could have... Had you all confused. Had you with some type of illusion about them. And kind of found out like this person could have wanted a uh, said they wanted a commitment with you but yet they were dealing with someone else and got them pregnant like how you come in to me with this person pregnant how just how how so yeah let's get one more spirit for taurus mm -mm. hopefully this person is in line um this could be someone that someone already have a child with that's trying to work it out with them. Three of Pentacles. Someone is wanting to... Yeah, this is a third party situation for sure. Yeah, someone... Mm -hmm, someone has sex with a third party. That's just what it would happen here. It could be talks about this and it's stressing you out. And yeah, you need to set boundaries with this person. If you do decide to have sex with this person, you need to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. This person could be trying to trap you. All right? But yeah, Seven of Swords, yeah, this person, someone, mm, nah. someone seen someone as the ticket, seen someone as successful and wanted to um, come in and, and grab onto some of that success mm -hmm, instead of getting it on their own. Shows more for Taurus. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. Four of Swords in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, clarify with the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone may even want to apologize about this child, about having a child on you, or, I don't know, or you want to do the apologizing, or show us more on this uh, higher friend spirit. Clarify the higher friend for Taurus. Yeah, someone wants some money due to a child. So, yeah. So, I'm getting, y'all, someone can't, someone wants some money. Someone wants some type of security, financial security from someone. Due to a child, 
But this was like a scheme of pot. So grimy. Show us more of the page of cups. Page of cups clarified with the six of pentacles in reverse. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, something something is in balance here due to their finances. So they want it want it um some of yours. Okay, so I'm getting so mixed emotions, okay? So are mixed messages. Alright, so some of you it's different scenarios here. Get in a situation where this is you, Taurus, because your energy is here as the higher thing. Right, you could have moved on or decided to move on with someone else, and here come your ex creeping on back in. I'm pregnant, okay? Or for some of you, this is a situation where you are in a situation with someone else, but you end up tapping out and dealing with your ex, someone from the past, because of the retro. The, don't blame it on the Mercury retrograde, blame it on yourself. But you know, the energy of the past do come up. But you have self-control, or you should. But um, someone could have crapped out and dealt with someone from their past and end up getting them pregnant. Um, yeah, and now their whole connection with the person they really want to be with is hindered. All right, someone is in a five of cups. Sad, regretful, and guilt. All right, now another situ situation, Taurus, this could be you. You could be pregnant, okay? Like I, like I said, you could be pregnant, and this ex- Someone from the past of this person that you're pregnant by want to come back in to this person because of food, whatever. They want to come uh, it's financially, okay? It's definitely pertaining to finances because this person isn't don't have it together or whatever. So they're trying to move off of your person. Um, now, for some of you, this could be... Uh, ooh, that could so many different ways. Uh, so many done came out, I done lost it. All right, so yeah, this, take it however it's going for your situation. But it definitely looked like someone is trying to, um, someone is trying to sabotage what you got going on. Clearly, that's what it says. Someone else, someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Okay, let's move on. Show us more on the Eight of Swords. Four tours. We have the nine of cups. Ooh, someone could be stuck in their head, drinking, Whew. over drinking. Show us more with the five of cups. Five of cups clarify with the magician in reverse. Ooh, ooh. Someone is guilty due to some manipulation. Someone is guilty. So maybe so. So I'm getting also like someone could have trapped you or tried tried to trap you with a pregnancy um or someone was trying to manipulate you out of finances or some type of uh yeah take it however it resonate whether you male or female someone was definitely a, a, a huge manipulator with this magician in reverse on a five of cups and now they now they're in guilt they they're guilty due to their actions manipulating you i don't believe it I feel like it's just because their world is, is crumbling or things is not going right for them. So they just, you know, they sat and moping about it. But I don't feel like they're really ashamed of what they did. Like, show us more with the Seven of Cups. Because this is someone who have a brain. They know what they were doing. Show us more. All right, Seven of Cups is clarified with the Four of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, this person was definitely a huge manipulator. But this person is not going to be able to rest here because of this. It's like they can't. They're restless. Four swords came up in this reading twice in reverse. They're restless now. Show us more with the three of pentacles. Or you are. Show us more with the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles clarified with the night. Yeah, because their money is being slowed down. Someone is like, damn, I should have been more cautious. Well, it's too late now. It's too late. Yeah, it's too late. Three of Wands in reverse because, damn, someone is stuck with someone that is very negative. Oh, wee. It's not good. Taurus, this could be even you. Like, damn, I got a child by this person. I got to deal with this person for the rest of my life. This person was a huge manipulator. They manipulated me into having a child with them. And they just tried to uh, sabotage a connection that I had going on to be with them. And I could have still been with this person. So it could have been a situation where you were involved with someone. And something happened where you end up dealing with this person. This person was a huge manipulator. They weren't in there for the right reasons. You're starting to realize that someone was very toxic. They were just not in a good place. Yeah. 
So I feel like right now it's best for you to focus on your healing. I feel like this person could be uh, perpetrating on like social media, social media, like they got it together. Everything is fine. They're good. They're not. They're in a five of cups, but they're pretending to not be in a five of cups. They're pretending to be okay. Like I'm good over here. No, they're not. They're lying. They're lying. They're not good. It could be a cancer, the chariot, and someone is not good. I told you someone is not good. The chariot in reverse. They can't move on. They can't move forward. It's like they're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. They did it to themselves. So it's more with this chariot. Yeah, they their money is stuck. Their stability is stuck. Some of you it's a it's a it's, it's a tour. Some of you could be dealing with another tourist, or you could be in this situation because of you know some wrong decisions, some something that you made a decision on, and you realize, damn, that was not too smart of me. But we live and we learn. Um, some of you, this could be another uh, uh, air. I mean, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, but this could be another um, uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Strong Capricorn with the shadow here, with this devil here. Okay, yeah, someone is. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're good, or you have overcame your shadow. You did your shadow work. You did, or you're 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 working on this now. Mm, show us more with the shadow um the, the devil yeah and and you're gonna be able to uh put this in your book or write about this um something about i don't know some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius but this is the person some maybe some of you you are in an illusion with the sagittarius the Sagitt uh, the temperance and the seven, seven of cups this is definitely an illusionist Someone is, is, a, is an illusionist, for sure. They captured you and tried to cause an illusion around you. Like, oh, they're stable. Or they got it together. They want to commit to you. They want this. They want that. And kind of find out they were, they were a fraud. Or they were pretending just to get a gain. A financial gain. Some type of stability. Some type of financial security, for sure. Um, whether this was or just the look. They wanted the look. All right. Even if you didn't have, I like, well, I ain't have much to give. Well, you probably didn't have much to give material wise, financially, but your energy had a lot of light on you. And this person wanted some of your light. They wanted you to shine on them. Okay. Or vice versa. Three of swords. So this person is heartbroken. Fake fraud. <laughs> I feel like they playing a part. Like, oh, Sam, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> But really, they, they hurt because they're not getting what they want out of this. Their plan backfired, basically. So that's what it is. It's not because they're really hurt for what they did wrong. They're hurt because their plan is not working. All right? So the fool on this person, that's what this is looking like. So it's a message for Taurus. The fool on them. Taurus, Taurus, please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus, mm. Taurus, someone's okay. All right, someone's birthday could be in June. All right, I just heard June. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So some of you, you could have had a soul contract with this person. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's supposed to last forever. Um, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. This is what it was all about. Like I said, this wasn't supposed to be forever. Show us more on this energy for Taurus. Taurus. Now, if you in a happy marriage, happily committed, or this ain't your reading, please tap out. Um, or this could be a message that's coming through your reading for you to give to someone else. And they don't necessarily have to be a Taurus. Their energy could be coming through your reading. All right, so we have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. And this person is repetitive with their behavior. They do this, uh, you know, for, for <laughs> this is like a part of their life. This is a part of their, this is like, it's a, it's a, it then became a part of them. Okay, this is like, oh, wake up and brush your teeth. <laughs> this uh, became a part of their day-to-day -day basis. Like, what? It's crazy. Okay, but ascending, 
So you are ascending, okay? Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, prepare for union. All right, preparing you for union due to you healing. So focus on the healing process right now and say deuces to whoever this is, all right? Let's move on to Virgo. Thank you so much, Taurus. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Virgo. Thank you for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. All right, let's see. Please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. Virgo spirit. Virgo. Virgo. All right. Virgo. Virgo, please show us. And what else? And one more. Thank you. All right, we have Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mercury retrograde. Okay, electronic issues, communication issues. Review everything at this time, okay? Intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Yes, yeah, someone is reminiscing in the past with you. Someone is want to come back. Possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or you're thinking about this, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or something significant about an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is trying to... Something. Um, something could be... Significant. Maybe the intimacy could be separate from this fire sign and this intimacy. But for some of you, this is the whole energy, okay? Someone is trying to come back. <laughs> trying to resurface here. Let's see more. Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, expect some surprise communication. Someone is wanting to communicate. They may reach out to you unexpectedly. Show us a message for Virgo. the star in reverse okay someone is not healing properly what is this about someone could be dealing with the uh, aquarius or someone could have aquarius in their chart you this person however this goes okay hierophant someone could be dealing with the taurus or um hmm yeah, yeah. someone is losing faith here someone is not having faith in god here what's going on here what's going on not having faith in the universe shows more for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo is clear. Ooh, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. All right, Virgo, your energy is here. Gemini energy is here. We got nothing but major arcana here. The star, the hierophant, and the magician. So yeah, how? Okay. It's like I'm getting someone praying for something, but not having faith in it. It's like someone is losing faith that their prayers will come to light. Someone is losing faith that something will happen. It's like you're not putting your full trust in God. You're not putting your full trust in the higher source. How do you expect this to come about? It's like, okay, you're not having faith in me. Why allow this to happen? All right. So I don't know. I want to see more for Virgo. This could be someone else, Virgo, the emperor in reverse. Someone is losing control. Someone is feeling like they're losing control. Show us more. Maybe someone have been in power or thought that, you know, they had so much power, possibly pertaining to work or something they were working on. But something is not happening quick enough like it normally happened or uh, whatever. So someone is like, okay, what the heck? Maybe it's just, you know, I'm going to just lose faith now. Like, what? All right. I mean, if it's not so good, if it's a negative thing, then yeah, you should have lost faith in that situation a long time ago. Because, ah, mm -hmm. all right. But someone, this could be pertaining to your work. Um, maybe you becoming your own boss or uh, gaining some type of authority or leadership role. Someone could be losing faith in that, or coming to working together with someone. Whether this is an Aries you plan on working with, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Gemini, or another Virgo. Show us more on this energy spirit. 
Virgo, your energy, the, the hermit. So they're telling you to investigate a little more, like dive in, gain more information. So you can, maybe that's what it is, okay? For a lot of you, that is what it is. It's because you don't have enough information. So lack of information, lack of knowledge is going to have you um, in the energy of not not having faith. Because you don't, you don't have enough knowledge to back it up to make you feel like, okay, yeah, I know this will work. Or I know I will get this. Um... Maybe you, you know, you, you, uh, if this was some, pretended to some type of test to get ahead or whatever, and you didn't, you know, study, you didn't get enough knowledge for that, and you took that test, and now you're feeling like, dang, I may not pass because I felt like I, I didn't do too good or something like that. But, um, I don't know, it just seemed like you're, you're, you're not, um, believing that something will work itself out. Let's get more on this energy. Some of you could be working together with the Aries. Maybe you're uh, losing faith in this Aries because you feel like, you know, what they say they can do is not happening. Show us more on this uh, star. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. The star in reverse is clarify. Yeah, be cautious. Okay. They're telling someone to be more cautious. Something that you did, maybe you did with someone or came into saying cahoots with somebody. They like, yeah, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Uh, we tried to tell you. <laughs> tried to tell you. <laughs> but somebody didn't listen. All right, show us more with the Hierophant. They're going to learn today. Show us more with the Hierophant. Or they may not until everything is gone. Okay, all the illusions is all. Seven of Cups in reverse. Exactly. So something you're seeing or something you will be seeing, okay? The illusions is off. It's no, it's no, it's the, the glamour spell is gone, okay? You can see them for who they are. Just look at them, okay? See them for who they are, okay? This person is no longer hiding or they cannot hide anymore. Just look at them. Are they looking sad, depressed? Are they looking uh overworked or stressed? Are they looking um very overaged than where they should be? Are they looking beat up and tired? Yeah, okay. Something is going on. Are you you were glamour, you were this person had a glamour spell where you were thinking like, Oh, they got it together, everything is good, so they must be doing right. Oh, that person lying. Oh, that person lying. That person telling the truth. And then all along, that person was lying. This person was telling the truth. Okay, what's going on? So they seeing, okay, or you're being led to see the truth now, okay? Or they're pushing you to see the truth. Let's see more with the magician. Let's see. Uh, this could be pertaining to a marriage, some type of commitment, a form of a commitment, a job. Or a relationship, connection, a marriage, okay? Seven of Cups in reverse. The illusion is gone. Show us more with the magician. Why is the magician here? Show us more. The magician is clarified with the two of cups in reverse. <laughs> it was not a true love. It was not true love. It was not a real soulmate. That's why the connection is broken. Because someone was false. Someone was trying to force a connection together why or how was it through magic mm -hmm. yeah that's what it looked like here someone was doing it through magic trying to force someone to like them and love them and to look at them as in oh, i'm attracted to them and all along it wasn't this person woke up one day and looked at this person and was like what the hell <laughs> ah! oh my god Whoever I'm speaking to, whether this is you or someone in your energy that have uh, did this or not in your energy, and someone have woken up to this illusion. So this illusion is now gone. Virgo, did you wake up? Because you standing here, baby. You woke up. You woke up. You realize this now? Sometimes it takes us some time. Okay? Sometimes it takes us some time. Sometimes this could be this could be your situation. This could be someone else's situation that they were in, and they like, oh my gosh, Virgo told me all along. <laughs> love wins, right? But if it's not real love, it's not gonna work, right? <laughs> so it looked like it wasn't real love. Someone was forced into loving someone. So 
someone was forcing someone to love them. Let's get more on this energy. Show us more with this Emperor in reverse. For Virgo, Six of Swords in reverse. And the Ten of Wands. Ooh, something is coming back on this person. Whoever this is that was trying to force something to go their way. Reverse, reverse. Six of Swords coming right back. Ten of Wands. It's a burden. Ooh, -wee. it's a burden for someone. Someone is feeling real way down due to this situation. Someone lost all control. Someone don't have any control anymore. Someone was controlling this situation to work out how they wanted to work out. Until God stepped in and said, hey, enough is enough. You're not about to keep doing this to this person. You're not about to, I'm not about to continue to let you. Oh, you thought because y'all let you get, it, get away with it that time. Oh, and that time. Oh, and that time. Oh, we were just trying to see how long it was going to take for you to step away and, you know, repent to your wrongdoings. And, you know, but this person didn't do that. This person thought it was all fun and games. Ooh, I could do this. Oh, this person, I got this. Oh, I did. Or it could have been the same person doing this to the same person over and over and over and over and over again. Someone is losing control on making this work. It's not working. Show us more with the three of uh, pentacles. Three of pentacles. Three of pentacles clarified with the nine of cups and the page of cups. Ooh. Yeah, so someone is like, man, do you forgive me? Can you please forgive me? Someone is heartbroken due to this. Someone could have been doing like sex spells, sex magic, things like that. Show us more with the, <laughs> the hermit. Y'all, wait till I tell my story. All right, Ace of Swords. Or the truth. Thank you, spirit. Wait till I tell the truth. All right, <laughs> Ace of Swords. So listen here, Virgo. Um, I feel like you reached some clarity, some truth about this situation. Whether this is pertaining to your situation or someone else's situation involving you. Okay? You see it for what it is now. Or you, you're being forced to see it for what it is. Alright? Show us. Page of Wands in reverse. Someone could be uh, rejecting communication with you or not responding to you because they know you had parts into it or you knew about this. Or you rejecting this person and not communicating with this person because they because you know that this person has something to do with this or or this could be the person that you that was doing this to you. Okay? Strong fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone was definitely an illusionist. Someone was a... Uh, was working with the dark arts to force something to go their way. Someone thought they were the magician. Maybe they were for a point of time, but Spirit had to dead that. Said, no, this is not about to keep going this way. I don't know why these fools out here thinking that they have control over the world. I rule the world. No, you don't. Sit down. Chill out. No, you do not. No, you do not. All right. Show us a message for Virgo. <laughs> separation absolutely thank you all right separation sadness missing you thinking about you yarning unsure of the future yeah i bet because they shouldn't have been trying to force you to love them and continue to put up with them and deal with them it's like this person was forcing you to love them and only them while they do whatever they wanted to do towards you they can cheat, they can beat your ass, they can do anything they want to do and force you to still love them. And you probably were still like, oh, I love them. Yeah, because you was under a spell, you was under this illusion, this illusion that they were casting over you to keep you confused. Or you were doing this. Please take it however it resonates. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. Absolutely. Someone needs to move on, release this. This is not it. Someone is an illusionist. Seduction, exactly. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Yeah, this person could try to interfere with any new upcoming relationships, connections, friendships, whatever you got going on. So make sure you set boundaries here. But this person could just be trying to come in to seduce you. This person could have been, um, you know, bringing you in due to their seduction. That's how it all started. It's sex. All right? Sex. It's sexual chemistry. 
That's when it all started. That's all they had to do. They had to have sex with you one time, and they got you. Yeah. All right, and we have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. All right? So I feel like some of you, you're in separation from someone. Releasing this person, whoever this illusionist is, to move on to someone that's real. But I feel like right now, you need to focus on you. Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. There are... You're exiting them out, and you need to exit. You need to ex ex this X out for sure. Okay, it's done. Chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Yeah, it's time to go. And then we got the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. Listen here. Don't let this person ruin you. Look like they already, you know, tried to ruin you to to the point where there was no return. But you know, you got you you taking back control, right? Do some research, investigate this situation. You're gonna see what this message is talking about. Whoever this is, whether this is someone you are dealing with, someone that you know was doing this, however this is, investigate. All right. You're very wise, Virgo. You're very wise. Okay? And once you gain all the truth that you need, you may go ahead and stop responding to this person. You're not going to give in to this person. You're not going to you're not even going to look at the message. I don't care who it is, whether friend, lover, family member, ex-lover, okay? But it's time for this to end. They're an illusionist. They're a master manipulator. But they're losing all their rights because they abuse their power. All right, so I'm ending this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Virgo. And until next time, many blessings. Hey, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. All right, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, all right, Spirit, please show us a message for Capricorn, Capricorn, all right, Capricorn, we have liar, be careful of someone sneaky, we have communicate, compromise, forgive, and work it out, hold on, that's contradicting, so this person could be lying to you, like, hey, you know, I want to work it out, someone is communicating with you, but they're lying, they're lying, they're lying, let's get more, someone else, someone is in the middle, someone is trying to sabotage this, so, okay, so for some of you, if you plan to move on, or you have moved on, and someone is trying to get in the middle, like, hey, I want to communicate with you, can I, can you talk, can you, can I have a second with you, can I talk to you, this could be someone that you divorced, or someone could be lying about a divorce, or something about, or this could be someone that they divorced, okay, take it, however, move on, they're saying move on, someone is in, someone is unavailable, and wasted time, it is over, okay, let's dive into this. What else, Spirit? For Capricorn. Capricorn, please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. Mm -mm. <laughs> I feel like somebody... Never mind. <laughs> show me a message for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Yeah, you could be blocking off someone. Someone could be expressing their emotions to you or whatever, but again, here we go, liar, 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 pants on fire. Why your nose growing, huh? Someone is a liar. All right, let's see, Caps. We show us what is going on here. Capricorn, Capricorn, five of pentacles. Yeah, this person, yeah, they just, they feel left out in a cold by you, okay? This is what it is. They could be financially, you know, going broke, or they may be broke, okay? And, or they possibly even lost their job, eight of pentacles in reverse. Um, but they could be lying about want to work it out with you. It could be because of their stability. They may need, you know, help or something. Something like that could be going on. Show us more for Capricorn, or this is you. 
Ace, I told you, Ace of Cups in reverse. They pretended to love you. They pretended like it's all about love. It, it, I can't even say if they got a little love. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like their, their mind is not wrapped around how they truly feel. This is someone that you possibly thought it would hit it, you would hit it off with, things was going to be great. They may have even put on an image that everything was perfect. But something went wrong where you like, wait a minute. Heck, you know. Show us more for Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, Eight of Swords. All right, this person was definitely trying to trap you, keep you stuck. Show us more. Someone could be worrying about jail, having to go to jail due to some type of finances, financial loss. King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Yeah, someone could be losing big time financially. They could be um, trying to get you to, you know, work with them. So, hey, can I, can we can we work things out? But not telling you, hey, I'm in a financial bind. I really need your help. And I think, you know, if we, we come together, we move together, you know, we could, you know, put our finances together and, you know, I could come out of my financial lack. <laughs> like this person is wanting, wanting some help instead of saying that this person is just you know but I love you I, I want to be with you and then you know I want to make this work but not saying hey I'm hurting financially and I really need your help right now <laughs> um show us more on this energy for Capricorn Capricorn this could be you or masculine energy here um, masculine could be male or female king of pentacles in reverse this is someone that's not stable this is someone that's not committal to, all right, um, the high priestess. If you are in awareness of this. You are in a knowing of this, okay? You peep this. You did. You have received these messages. Somehow some downloads came in to you, rather through your dreams or just, you know, picked up on their behavior. Show us a message for the five of pentacles for Capricorn. Five of Pentacles for Capricorn. Five of Pentacles is clarified with, yeah, the truth. All right, Ace of Swords with the Page of Wands. You receive messages, truthful communication for self, okay? You receive the communication that you needed. This person could have messaged you, you know, it could be like, but I am telling you the truth. <laughs> Again, they're a liar. <laughs> you know the truth. You know what it is. And this person is broke or they're going broke or they're, they're in lack somehow and need some of your support. Oh, Jesus Louise. Show us more with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify with what? Eight of Cups in reverse with the King of Cups. This person is trying to come back. Eight of Cups in reverse. They're trying to return to you with emotions. They want to, they're trying to look stable with their emotions, King of Cups, okay? It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that's trying to come back in and work things out with you. But the, the, truth, the truth of the matter is they lost work or they're losing work or they lost some finances or a big chunk of it. Something like that is going on and they could be trying to woo you with, it, with love. But look, Ace of Cups in reverse. How the King of Cups in upright and Ace of Cups in reverse. This is, uh, what, false love? Someone is lying to you. Okay, show us more with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups, spirit. Ace of Cups clarified with the Six of Wands. So this person may have had victory with you once upon a time lying to you. Like, yeah, I love you. Yeah, this is true love, new love. Oh, this is all the love I ever wanted. Yeah, they have victory. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. That Apparently it didn't last or you waking up to this now. Um, let's get more on the Six of Wands. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Um... Yep, they're a liar. Look at this. Ew. This person seen you. They seen you as the ticket, all right? Look at this. Okay, so for some of you, it could have been another uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this King of Wands here. But this person here is, is in a seven, they're in a seven of swords. They seen you, whether you male or female, they seen you as stable, someone that they can get something from. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah, this will help me out. You know, let me go ahead and work my, you know, let me finesse this. Let me go ahead and, and work my magic with my good looks. Or, you know, let me be Mr. Suave. Or <laughs> let me be this, uh, well, however, Mr. We're missing, okay? However it is that, you know, this person had plans. And their hidden agenda was to uh, conquer some type of financial wealth here. Some type of, or if not, you know, not 
wealth as far as being the richest person alive of course not but this was financial wealth because they seen it in you remember the king of pentacles is in reverse so some the other party is in reverse they're not they're lacking they're lacking finances stability some financial security and you are not okay so you're sitting good you're 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 stable here this person was trying to finesse you or get something out of you they seen something in you and this something in you was stability or this is you take it how it resonates show us more with the eight of swords eight of swords clarify with the ace of cups yeah they was trying to trap you with love oh baby but i love you oh i love you see the ace of cups in the upright with the eight of swords but you see in reverse the ace of cups was in reverse right coming out with the seven of swords Ooh, lies this person was a liar they they was coming in strong strong because they knew they'd get you or they may have felt like you were vulnerable at the time or something where you wanted love maybe you expressed like yeah you want love or whatever but this person played on your played on your emotions show us more with the um high priestess but they played with the right one because the high priestess here the oh, boy this person is very intuitive highly intuitive this person is realizing oh i know what you're doing oh i see what you're doing okay you reminded me of the person from my past and that ain't a good reminder so you you nip this in the bud or you're about to show us more with the six of cups in reverse someone that you possibly have a child with children with however this is yeah, two of cups and a nine of cups. Yeah, you like, yeah, this is, I remember that. Yeah, uh-huh, nah, this ain't gonna work. So someone could definitely be, uh, dang, this is not it. Do not return to the past. I feel like I don't need to say that, but I'm just saying it just in case, you know, you end up wanting, you know, maybe one more trip. No, 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 no. Don't return to this person. Do not return to this person. <clears throat> this person is greedy and selfish, I'm getting Someone is very greedy and selfish and they're returning because of their own selfish needs. They need their finances replenished and they feel like you're the bank. <laughs> That's just what it seems like here. Yeah, it's time for this to end. Wow, the death with the tower. Hello, okay. Hey, like, no, nah, it's time for this to come to an ending here. Surprise, ending. All right, with this empress, the j justice. Yeah, someone is bringing this to an end, to a halt here. This could be the mother, the baby mother. You could be the baby mother that's bringing justice to the situation. Maybe you have gained finances or something out of this situation. You coming out as the emperor, I mean the higher, the high priestess again and the empress. Hello, okay. However, this is for you. But someone have good fortune on their hands. They have a uh, good change, good good fortune, good uh, karma coming in, and the other person is not so much of. So they're trying to um. You know, they're trying to get get some of your good karma. No. Don't don't allow that situation to occur because then you're going to be receiving some of their bad karma. No. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. This person is a liar. They a liar, man. A big time liar. A big time liar. They trying to get some money. They like, oh, this the ticket. I can get some money off of this person, or I can look good with this person. It's like, even if it's not financially, then maybe they look at you as a good cash. Like, oh, okay, me by their side. You know, I can. You know, no, don't use me. This is a user. Show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. And the more you sit quiet and still, you're going to see this as the high priestess. Show us a message for Capricorn. High priestess. Because that's a seer, someone is just, who's very intuitive, who pick up on the energy. So you need to pay attention. Sit still and pay attention. Some of you have already done that. And this is just a reminder of who this person is. All right, the snake. Wow, thank you, spirit. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, okay? Some of you, it's another woman. It could be, or this is this person, okay? Mm, 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 mm. This, it could be the other woman, someone that someone is dealing with. For some of you, no, this is this person, some of you. Karmic relationship, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Karmic relationship. They're a snake. They are not the real deal. Get out. <laughs> mirror. Mirroring each other. This is in reverse. Um, 
mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflects our wounds, introspection. I feel like this person could be coming to you like, but we, we soulmates. You know, we, you know, I, you know, we, we each other to have. Like, we, you know, nah, don't come to me with them lies. I already know what's up. <laughs> Clock. All right. Need time, takes time, and time cycles. Time to heal in progress. Yes, absolutely. And you will receive a love call. Someone expresses love and message of love thinking of you <laughs> and letting you know this is the liar, y'all. So please be 10 steps ahead. This person is lying to you. Okay? They're lying to you. They're trying to use you, get something from you, whether this is finances, stability, or just your image, however this is. They're a liar. They are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. Seven of Swords, come on now. Especially right with the King of King of Wands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, y'all get or the Queen of Pentacles, you could be dealing with either another earth sign, a fire sign, or even a water sign, like however it is. Um, for some of you, this is a strong manipulator. Okay, this person, dang, that remind me of um the manipulation came up. But that y'all reading is definitely a little different, a lot different from Virgo, but y'all could be dealing with a Virgo, but that manipulation was strong in Virgo reading. But uh Maybe some of you are dealing with and maybe that that's that was needed to come out, but I'm getting this person yeah, they, they manipulate you all right into believing their lies, but I feel like you woke up or you're you're starting to see. All right, but that's all I have. I hope you receive some clarity, understand it to this message. Um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time, many blessings.